Hi, I'm Marcus, lead animal care specialist here at House of Reptiles in Tigard, Oregon. And today we're going to talk a little bit about the benefits of feeding frozen thawed prey items to your pet snake. There are many advantages that benefit both you and your snake directly. One being that it's generally cheaper to buy frozen rodents. Um, you can also generally find them in the appropriate sizes. In the case that, say, you want to feed multiple snakes or you just want a long supply without frequent trips to the pet store, you can buy multiple frozen rodents and keep them in your freezer for months at a time. Whereas with live, you'd have to probably have one at a time and in case your snake didn't eat, so you'd have to take care of that live rodent for at least another week till you can offer your snake again. Another benefit is that freezing rodents kills most all internal and external parasites, making it safer for your snake to consume. And probably the biggest advantage is that it's safer for your snake. Live fights back, and there's chances that the live mouse or rat can injure or kill your pet snake. Even in the event that your snake bites and wraps the rodent, there's always a chance that a leg might be free or the head might be free and they can scratch or then bite the snake back. And a lot of times it happens too fast to really save or intervene. Um, what we do when we want to feed our snakes is we'll thaw the frozen rodents out. There's really two methods to do it. One being that you can leave the rodent in the room to defrost naturally. This may take 30 minutes to a couple hours depending on the rodent size. Another method is to submerge that rodent in hot tap water, not boiling, you don't want to cook it. And this can take minutes to, again, another hour or two, depending on rodent size. After the rodent is completely thawed, we'll feel to make sure that there's no frozen chunks left. Um, we'll then use some kind of feeding tongs or hemostats to offer the snake. Um, this helps so we don't get bit ourselves on accident. And it can also reduce the stress of the snake. They might be freaked out with a big hand holding their food and think that their food is actually bigger than it is. Um, we have a couple examples to show you. Um, first starting off is a baby boa constrictor. Generally what I will do first is hold the rodent by the scruff of the neck and really just place it in front of the snake. A lot of times the scent of the rodent indicates food and they bite it and start to consume. Next is a subadult ball python. These guys sometimes are a little bit finicky eaters and a little bit shy. Again, I'll try the same method, just really holding it in front of their face. And generally, they know what to do. Here is a baby Brazilian rainbow boa. And again, same method, I'll just hold it in front of him. Sometimes a little wiggle to encourage. A little bit more wiggling. Another trick sometimes is to touch them on the back, a little further down from the head. This might simulate live and might encourage them to eat a little bit more. And lastly, we have Soledad, our subadult albino Burmese python. You can see he's quite large, and so even subadult and adult snakes will take frozen thawed meals. Trying to encourage him a little bit more. There we go. So he wrapped first, but that's still a success. So we'll give them time to eat their meal and we'll check back on them a little later. I hope you learned something from this video today. Um, thanks for watching.